In this video, we're talking about swatches in Photoshop. Swatches are simply bookmarks for color. Really great tool, really easy to use, great for keeping your color palettes consistent, and even sharing colors with collaborators or between other Adobe programs. Let's bring up our swatches panel. Uh, we can do that in Photoshop just by clicking Window in the menu bar, and then on Swatches. Or sometimes you'll see the swatch panel's icon, and it looks like a little grid. So we can click on that and bring up our swatches panel. Inside the swatches panel, we've got our panel menu. We'll come back to that later. We've got a search bar that allows us to do a text search through all of the swatches that we might have loaded here. We've also got a set of colors that Photoshop is automatically keeping track of. So anytime we change foreground color, it gives us this nice little color history that we can jump back to if we find that we want to uh, remember or save out a color that we've used. Now in the main part of the panel here, I can see a bunch of different groups or folders of different swatches. And these are usually set up by default when you open Photoshop. I've also got a few custom ones that I've already set up down here at the bottom. All the way at the bottom of the panel, we've got a few buttons for organizing, uh, making new swatches and deleting swatches or groups of swatches. Okay, let's go ahead and make ourselves a new swatch. So to make a new swatch, our first step is to set a foreground color. Now I can see here I've set a foreground color uh, to this sort of light tan, and I've done that by using the eyedropper tool to sample the color from one of my cats here. Uh, I could set the foreground color in different ways too. I could come over uh, in the toolbar, double click to bring up the color picker, and just pick any old color that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this and go back to the eyedropper tool in my toolbar. And I'll use that to sample a color here from my background cat. So I'm just kind of charcoal gray color. That looks pretty good. So I've set that to my foreground color. Now on the swatches panel, down at the bottom, I'm gonna click on the create new swatch icon. And here I'll get a chance to name and set a couple options for my swatch. So I'll call this my other cat. And I get an option of whether or not I'd like to add this swatch to my library. I'm gonna leave this unchecked for now, but libraries are a really great way to share swatches, color palettes, and lots of other content uh, between Adobe programs or between collaborators. Let's click OK. And I can see I've got one swatch for my gray cat and one swatch for my tan cat. And I can load those into my foreground color at any time simply by clicking on them. So you can see as I click on each of these swatches, that color jumps right into my foreground color. So these default groups of swatches uh, already are organized into sort of subfolders. We can do that same sort of organization ourselves if we need to. Uh, I could either take one of these existing swatches, click and drag it into a folder, or I could make my own group folder simply by clicking on the create new group icon at the bottom of the swatches panel. So I'm gonna just call this my cat swatches. And I can see I get that group folder down at the bottom of my swatches panel. And I can take any of these swatches I've created, just click and drag them into that group folder. And if I've got several I wanna grab, uh, rather than individually clicking and dragging, I can click on one and hold down shift and click on another. And that's gonna grab all of them in between and just click and drag right into my cat swatches folder. So that's pretty cool. It gives me a nice color palette, really easy way to jump back to a consistent set of colors. Now, we can also do some really cool things with importing color palettes into our swatches panel. And the first step for that is to get some swatches. So we could make swatches in other programs. We could download them. Um, I'm going to switch to my browser here, and we'll look at a couple different sources for uh, making your own color palettes to import into Photoshop. So the first is Adobe Color. This is a nice automatic way because it syncs through your Adobe Creative Cloud account. And we can use some of these nice built-in color palette tools uh, to generate groups of colors that go together. Now a similar tool is uh, Palaton.com. So this is a really nice custom uh, color palette generator. You can do lots of cool things with this. I've already gone ahead and set up a color palette you can see here on the right. And I've exported that using the export option as a CSS file. So that's one file type that we can use to communicate color swatches and color palettes between different programs. So I'd like to take the swatch group that I've exported from Peloton.com and import it into Photoshop. Let's jump back to Photoshop. And in our swatches panel menu, I'm gonna come down here and click import swatches. 
and I've saved out that group of swatches from Peloton.com into a CSS file in my downloads folder. I'll go ahead and just click open. And I should be able to see here, uh, I've got a custom swatch that has all of the colors that I set up on Peloton.com. Okay, that's a nice quick overview of using the swatches panel in Photoshop to save, manage, and share colors.